Ever imagined having a petit fox or a tropical honey bear as a companion? In several countries, it's entirely legal. Even flying squirrels can be part of your household. If the allure of exotic pets has caught your interest, then you're in for a treat with this video. Dive in as we explore some of the world's most unique and rare pets. Let's embark on this journey. Chinchilla. Do you want a rodent but want to own an unusual pet? Chinchillas are worth considering if you can cope with a little discomfort. These animals form a fairly close bond with their owners, but do not expect to let you pet and cuddle them as much as you want. They don't like it and may bite you, indicating that they're not in the mood. However, chinchillas are ready to play and run around all day long. Found a picture of your dream pet on the internet, but can't figure out what kind of animal it is? For example, one of my subscribers asked for help in finding the answer to such a puzzle. It turned out that it was this adorable little fellow that caught his attention. Turns out it's a marmoset that lives in rainforests. What distinguishes them from other members of the family is their size. They're very small primates that can fit even on a human finger. However, it's unlikely that you'll be able to buy a marmoset. In most countries of the world, the owning of monkeys of this species is strictly prohibited, but don't despair because you can get yourself many other exotic and rare animals, which I'll tell you about right now. Sundus slow loris. This furry inhabitant of the jungles of the Southeast Asia leads a nocturnal lifestyle. Sleeping in tall trests during the day and going out to hunt at night, but even when hunting the Sunda slow loris is not in a hurry. It moves slowly and leisurely insects, bird eggs and fruits are most common in the diet of this loris. A unique feature of this animal is its slow movements. Sunda slow loris moves so slowly that it doesn't make even the slightest noise. The smoothness of the movements also help the animal to defend themselves from predators. Realizing that it was spotted the Sunda slow loris freezes motionless. Covering its head with its paws as if trying to hide and become invisible, but before you become completely enchanted, it's important to know the weapon the sun to slow loris uses when it senses danger lorises are venomous the venom glands of the loris are safely hidden in the armpits. Although the venom is quite weak, there is one effective way to enhance it. All it takes is contact with the saliva of this unusual animal, and as a result of a chemical reaction the strength of the venom will increase several times. By licking its armpits the animal inflicts a venomous bite that can prove fatal to many animals, and even humans. Fennec Fox As if foxes weren't cool enough on their own fennec fox, looks like as if it was created for those who wished for the world's cutest fox for the new year. These small animals are considered the smallest species in their family and are found in Africa. An adult individual weighs no more than one and a half kilograms, so you won't have any problem with placing this charming little fox in the house. Still haven't decided who you like more, cats or dogs? Then this cute fox is your perfect companion. It loves to play like a dog, but it's also independent enough like a cat. So you can leave it alone for a few hours and there won't be any disaster but be careful if you're tempted to get one. You need to check if the law in your country allows you to keep a pet fox at home. Sugar Glider This cute and unusual animal has several names, but most people call it Sugar Glider. This species resembles a squirrel. Although biologically it's much closer to a kangaroo besides squirrels, cannot be kept as pets, but Sugar Gliders are excellent pets. They're not large, their body length is only 15 to 20 centimeters, and their maximum weight reaches 170 grams, a striking distinguishing characteristic of the life activity of these unusual animals is a large collection of sound signals with a variety of intimations and intensities. You can hear murmuring, crying, chirping, yapping, crackling, or hissing. By the way, these cuties got their name in part because they adore sweets. Mostly, they eat fruits and vegetables, of course, so don't feed them with candy. Sugar gliders are calm, get along with other pets, and really get attached to their owners. Kinkajou The kinkajou is a predatory mammal of the raccoon family, native to Central and South America. In recent years, these animals have become incredibly popular as pets. The fashion has started because of the celebrities it's known that Paris Hilton got herself a few kinkajous. If you're going to have such an animal, you should think carefully about all prospects. 
Kinkajou are called flower or honey bears, but in fact, they're only related to bears for their love of honey. They also love to make a mess King Geijos can make it in just a few minutes. Common Cassilians Common Cassilians belong to the group of legless amphibians. The animal, of course, is not to everyone's taste. It looks like a large earthworm. In the wild, common Cassilians are found in the tropics of Africa, Asia, and America. They live in soil or woody debris, sometimes in anthills and turbite mounds. Unlike most amphibians, common Cassilians are not attached to water bodies. They have a dry cylindrical body. The largest representative of the genus is the Thompson's Cassilian. Its length reaches 117 centimeters. Common Cassilians are very active and agile creatures. You rarely see them immobile. They're hardy and tenacious and easily tolerate climate changes. But if you decide to get these pets, it's better not to expose them to strong temperature changes. There's no clear guide on how to grow these amphibians at home, but breeders give advice based on their experience. Houses for these animals are made from aquariums. Breeders feed them earthworms, moths, meat, or fish. The larger the legless amphibian, the larger the prey it can eat. Capuchin Monkey Capuchin monkeys are often seen in movies or in TV shows. These nimble little primates are known for their playfulness and cleverness. Remember Jack the monkey from the Pirates of the Caribbean saga? That's exactly what a capuchin monkey is. Capuchin monkeys are very intelligent, agile, and independent animals. They live up to 40 years in the wild, ready to clean up after a monkey for 40 years. Then you might want to consider taming it. Crested Gecko We've all heard that today, it's easy to buy and keep a gecko at home. However, few people know how huge the choice really is and how many varieties of this lizard there are on the earth. Crested geckos, also known as eyelash geckos, are a popular choice among many new reptile owners. This small gecko species was only discovered a few decades ago in New Caledonia, but has since won the hearts of many people. Just look at these cuties. Trouble is, the crested gecko is considered a vulnerable species in the wild. In their native habitat, these animals live in trees and dense rainforests interactive from dusk to dawn. The crested gecko's main diet in the wild consists of fruit and insects in captivity. However, they're often fed a meal replacement and various fruits and insects. The crested gecko is that very dream animal that requires little care. Geckos can be easily tamed. However, it should be remembered that unlike most pets, they're most active at night. These active creatures can either be single pets or kept in a small group. So if these cuties won your heart, start with one. And then if you like, you can get a whole team of nimble reptiles. Capybara. If you've never seen a capybara before, it might seem to you like a huge cousin of the guinea pig, and you'd be right. American capybara is considered the largest rodent in the world an adult can weigh up to 65 kilometers. If you've already wanted one and started looking for a gigantic cage online, take your time. The capybara won't be able to live in sawdust and run in a wheel in natural conditions. This animal spends half of its life in water, and this means you have to provide it with a body of water at home. This may seem like an easy task for you if you have a large house or a summer cottage, but there are other troubles and difficulties of owning the species. Don't forget that the capybara is a very social animal, so if you have one, be prepared to get a couple more. Keeping a capybara as a pet is not forbidden by law in most countries, but it's worth it to check the legislation before buying the animal. In some states, you'll still need to get a special license for such a pet. Serval. You can go for broke and get yourself a real tiger like Mike Tyson. However, there are more convenient and no less exotic options. For example, a serval. It can even be trained if you start training it early enough. But there are some difficulties. Originally, these small wild cats lived in Africa, so they are used to the warm climate and large open spaces. So if you are going to get yourself a serval, remember that you'll have to arrange a large and constantly heated enclosure for it. For residents of northern latitudes, this will be much more difficult. Don't forget that the serval is a hunter by nature. 
These cats love to play and they need to spend in motion every day. Ready to go for a run? Then the serval is an option for you, that's all guys. Which animals from this video would you like to have? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.